Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another installment of MCW's Rage TV. I am Mark Bray, and we are coming to you from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. Whoa, Tonight whoa, on the whoa, whoa, whoa. And Jane. Did you there. say great city? Everybody knows there is not one great thing about this city. I don't think that's necessarily true. Shut up! Yeah, on to more important things. Yeah, why are you out here? You're always in my business, Mark Bray. You know why I'm out here? I'll tell you why I'm out here. By now, everybody knows after everything that I've done, after all the money I have invested, the Holy Rollers lost. They couldn't get the job done, so I dumped them. Wait a second, JP. It wasn't too long ago that you were in the back saying that the Rollers were the greatest accomplishment of your career. Well, I lied! Okay, so I assume you're going to tell us why you're Oh, here. yeah, I'm going to tell you why I'm out here. You see, unlike all these idiots, I've got money. I can do things. I can make things happen. So I traveled the world. I put together my foreign exchange because there isn't one American wrestler that is good enough for me. Now, shut up! I am going As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I'm bringing out my first acquisition, Boris Dragoff! Well, there you have it. It looks like the action's gonna get started right here with J.P. Callahan's newest acquisition from Russia. He's a big guy. We'll see how it goes. You know what, Dwayne? I can't even begin to tell you how much J.P. Callahan annoys me. And I know I don't have to ask you the same thing. I mean, you, you totally agree. You're on the same page as I. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Mark Bray. This is Dwayne Gilberg, and this is Rage TV. We're getting things started right away as Boris Dragoff, the new acquisition of J.P. Callahan and Callahan in Industries, Enterprises, whatever you want to call it, taking on Devon Reed, Dwayne. Man, I'll tell you what, this guy's a monster. Look at the size of him. I've never seen him before. Well, of course, Boris Dragoff is is an, from Mother Russia, as he calls it, as I spoke to him backstage. He's a mean guy. He's big. He's brute force. You're not going to see a lot of scientific wrestling coming from this gentleman. It's going to be pure, pure battling bar, bar room style. Oh, you know it, man. The Russians are some of the toughest people out there. Them and the Samoans. <laughs> Down through the lines in history, my God, they've always given us trouble. And it looks like Davion is in trouble. As he's able to kick out, it's only a two count. Davion Reed, the youngster, seems to be a little bit of a size disadvantage here against the Russian Boris Dragoff. Man, what a chop, what a chop. You see that? Oh, it looks like gonna see it again. Oh. <laughs> Now you gotta think J.P. Callahan has quite a bit vested in Boris Dragoff here after you know he's he's still hurting after feeling oh. lost. The Holy Rollers losing the tag team titles to Fed Up at the Shamrock Cup just a short time ago. Oh, you he's know gonna that. Up. Here's a pin. 
I thought for sure we were through with J.P. Callahan when the Rollers lost. Absolutely. I thought he was gone, baby. It was the happiest day of my life. Saddest because the Rollers left, because I love the Rollers, man. Even though they are what they are, been around a long time. And of course, the Holy Rollers are very respected in the Mid-Atlantic area when it comes to pro wrestling as they are being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. Oh, Davion Ducks. Oh, again, what's he doing here? Oh! <laughs> Oh man, Davion caught a big boot in the face. Misses with two clotheslines, gets him with the big boot to the face, and this could be it. Covers him. Oh, and yeah. somehow the youngster able to kick out. Now, of course, JP Callahan, as you he mentioned at the top of the uh, show, has gone all over the world looking for new talent to replace the Holy Rollers, which. And hold on a second. Oh. Unable to finish and connect with that maneuver, and now Boris Dragoff once again in control of this matchup, this opening bout here on Rage TV. He tried to get the sunset flip, but I think the kid was just too hurt. When he did the flip, it just took too much out of him. He couldn't grab on. Oh, Ooh. my goodness, and that's a devastating maneuver. He's going to cover him here. One, two. Oh, yeah, that's it. And three, and now the newest acquisition of J.P. Callahan Enterprises, it's Boris right. Dragoff, victorious here on Rage TV. I tell you what, I don't like that guy at all, man. Not at all. And it looks like the crowd here in Baltimore would agree with you. Let's take a look at this replay. Oh, look at that big splash here. And then takes the kid's head rim right off. Bam! Did you see that boot? Absolutely, Boris Dragoff just using his size and strength to win Boom. this one as he starts an MCW 0 and 1. All the weight on the back of the head there. And there you go, there's the slime bucket crawling in the ring. Available now, get the voice of MCW, Mark Bray's debut record, American All-Star. Find it at cdbaby.com, iTunes, Napster, or Rhapsody. Welcome to Mark Bray Country. Well, I call it destiny. trained by one of the best and one of the craziest wrestlers that there is in the business today, you're looking at Gilbert's Wrestling Academy. That's right, baby. If you think you got what it takes to become a pro wrestler, manager, valet, and or referee, come on down to Gilbert's. Call us at 410-969-8077. That's in Severn, Maryland, baby. Gilbert's. Ah! Yo, son, fed up is in the house. You know what I'm saying? Your new MCW Tag Team Champions. Yay, son. Yay, son. And if you want to check us out, tune in to Rage TV. Yo, G-Fed, what you got to say about that, son? Yay, son. <laughs> I'm Nathan Crown, and you're watching MCW Rage TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage TV. The Italian job, Nick Saracelli in action here. You gotta love this guy's attitude, Dwayne. He's been back in MCW now for a couple of months. Made his debut a short time ago on Rage TV. And, I mean, attitude is half the battle. You gotta agree. And this kid's got it. He's a good looking kid, too, man. I mean, he's got a lot of talent. Knows a lot of really high flying stuff, so you gotta watch out for him. And fans seem to really like him. Absolutely, and of course, he's going up against Mitch Miller. Mitch Miller, no stranger to the squared circle. He's also been been just doing his thing inside the MCW ring as late and actually been been doing very well for himself as well. Oh, yeah, he has. You know, you gotta give it to the youngster. He's, he, you know, just came out to starting, but here I got a feeling Saracelli's gonna give him all he can handle. 
Nick Saracelli using his quickness to take advantage here early on in this matchup. And oh. he sets him up and... Beautiful neck breaker ran right there. And Nick Saracelli quite pleased with himself. Ooh. Man, that hurts. I'll tell you what, I've taken many of them. Oh! <laughs> Nick I love him with, chops, man. Nick Saracelli with Mitch Miller inside the corner. Now he's gonna go for an Irish rip. Sends Miller into the ropes. A boot to the, the stomach there, and oh my goodness. And wait a second, take a look at that, Dwayne. Your best friend is uh, making an unexpected uh, appearance here at ringside. J.P. Callahan and his Russian friend, Boris Dragoff. What's he doing here? Never yeah, go Callahan. Nick, bam, look at this, this is it. This is the finisher, baby, bam, right there. If he can capitalize, he covers him. Referee counts, one, two. Yeah, and the youngster gets another win. Way to go, this way to go. This one is in the book. Nick Saracelli, victorious here on Rage TV. Oh, you know what I bet he's doing? I bet he's looking at Nick Saracelli. He doesn't want an American wrestler. You know, he's from Italy. That is a very good hypothesis, Dwayne. We'll have to do a little investigative work into that, but in the meantime, let's take a look at this replay. Bam. Nick Saracelli. Big neck breaker. Look at that, Mark. Two of them. And the finisher, and that's it. Miller goes down, the one, two, three. Saracelli with the victory on Rage TV. Good looking kid, man. I'm really happy for him. This is Commissioner Jimmy Cicero. I want to thank each and every one of you out there for helping me and for helping MCW body slam autism. It means the world to me and it means the world to this promotion. Thank you very much and please continue to help the wise guy body slam autism. Oh, what a pleasure indeed it was to return to Baltimore, to return to Maryland and experience Maryland Championship Wrestling, MCW. There ain't no better around, believe you me. This is Nui Tofiga and you're watching Rage TV. This is Jessica, and you're watching Rage TV. <laughs> this is Ronnie Zuko, and you're watching my show, Rage TV. Available now. Get the voice of MCW. Mark Bray's debut record, American All-Star. Find it at cdbaby.com, iTunes, Napster, or Rhapsody. Welcome to Mark Bray Country. Well, I call it destiny. I'm the Bruiser, and you're watching Rage TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage TV. TV. I got the wing kill busting my chops in the commercial off, break you? here. Last match, you said an Irish rip, and this one you say a blue bee. You know what? I've had about enough of you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are back on Race TV. It's time for the main event of the evening. Alexander James, accompanied by Doc Daniels and Ada Marie of the Winner's Organization, Winner's Circle Organization, in action here. And his opponent. You know, I always like Alexander James, but when he joined his Winner's Circle and Kiki little, little Piece of chick, of whatever the, the heck she is, I don't know, man. I don't know what she's doing, but she's putting something on these guys. Ajax can't wash us off, that's for sure. Well, hold on a second. Here we go. His opponent oh. in this matchup, <laughs> one half of the MCW Tag Team Champions, Seafed of Fed Up, going to be in action here. Ah. And you can hear all the youngsters in the MCW Rage TV arena are definitely fans of Fed Up, as are you and I. Oh, yeah, man. Me too. Son, son. That's for sure. That's for sure. Sorry about my voice here. Just got back off the Yokozuna Memorial. And my throat's a little sore here. So I'm uh, doing my best here, Mark. 
And let me tell you, this is nice. Now they've got some real competition. Let's see what he can do now. Man, they love him. They love the team, I'll tell you that. That's great. And these guys, let me tell you, nobody's worked harder in MCW here lately than them two. You're absolutely right. Of course, C-Fed and G-Fed, tag team champions here in MCW. C-Fed, once again, taking on Alexander James of the Winners Circle Organization. MCW referee Tanya with the call in this main event here. C-Fed starts right away trying to get the folks into his corner with the Sun Sun chant inside the arena. That's right. Sun, 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 Good day, Sun, Sun. Yeah, yeah. You are something else, man. Both competitors lock up in the center of the ring. Alexander James with a bit of a size advantage on C-Fed, but when it comes to experience, the ball is definitely in C-Fed's court, wouldn't you say? Yeah, he's got a size advantage, but I would not say a strength advantage. Because I know C-Fed personally, and this kid is strong. I mean strong. And AJ sometimes doesn't look as macho as you're supposed to be, if you know what I mean. Like he may have a feminine side. Be that as it may, I don't know if you can notice, uh, if you can hear, Dr. Anthony Daniel seems to be coaching on Alexander James from ringside. There's the problem right there. You know, give it what you want, but the guy does know the sport inside out, upside down. I'm not sure if that's the case or whether or not he's just brainwashing these guys to do his bidding. I tell you what, I've sat in interviews with both Ava Marie, Ada Marie and Dr. Anthony Daniels, and they are both very, very There you go, look at that abdominal stretch. Come on, man, you just don't pull that out of your hat. And with the reversal, now C-Fed working on yeah. the body of Alexander James. I like it. Very good. <laughs> C-Fed always. Look at you know you care. He's taking him for the heck of it. And now he's showing you. Oh, full Nelson here. What you doing here? A classic full Nelson. Ah, <laughs> gets him back a lot. <laughs> and in the back, son, side. Oh. C-Fed here with a rare opportunity to be in singles action, and he's definitely showing that he hasn't forgotten how that goes. Been tagging with G-Fed for a very long time now. This is kind of like a, maybe some sort of a vacation of an earlier time in his career. Man, and look you at know he's enjoying drags. it. I'm sorry, Deep Mark. arm drags, rolls him up, goes for the pin, and Alexander James able to kick out. Man, that was a la Ricky Steamboat, man. And here goes the pin. I didn't mean to walk on you there, oh, no, but that's I really quite love right. he good, rolls him up. good wrestling. Look at that, man. Referee Tanya has her hands full. Both of these kids, what talent, man. You gotta give it to MCW, though. Come on now. Absolutely. I mean, look at all the independents out there, and look at the talent in MCW. It's Absolutely. endless. And it's exactly like you said. We wrestle, baby, we wrestle. Absolutely. C-Fed looking for the approval of the crowd and G-Fed. He looks like he's gonna put this one away if he can capitalize and if Alexander James can't get up and oh, hold and on a second. foot, man, look at this. Man, they were having a good, even match and you gotta do something like this. Once again, Commissioner Cicero is gonna have to take control. Anytime you've got somebody at ringside, it seems shenanigans always happens. Son, oh, he ducks. Oh, wait a second. Uh -oh. oh. Here comes the pin. Oh my and God! And he scores the victory, Alexander James. Uh, I'm speechless, but Alexander, Alexander James with the victory over C-Fed. Wow! I got to tell you, I'm not sure if if the interference had anything to do with that. Oh my God! I'm speechless. I don't know what to do. Interesting, and I think G-Fed. G-Fed is just about as speechless as you are. Man. Look at him. That's losers, you idiots. I, I, I don't know what to say, man. 
And there he is, Doc Daniels. See, I told you. Folks, we are out of time.